Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors with James Holst and Pat McSherry and the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. This is In-Depth Outdoors. Thanks for tuning in to In-Depth Outdoors. I'm your host, James Holst. Now on today's show, we're gonna take a break from the non-stop springtime walleye action that we typically bring people. So we've got a great new species to show you today, one that we've never done before here on In-Depth Outdoors. But before we do that, we've got two very important announcements to make today. We're gonna to do one at the beginning of the show and one at the end. So our first announcement, uh, about this time of year each season, we start talking about bringing In-Depth Outdoors to a close. Uh, by middle of May each year, we're done for the season and we start to hear from a lot of our fans, they want more. That's what today's announcement's all about. Uh, we're gonna introduce Strike Zone. It's a new video series from In-Depth Outdoors brought to you by Gander Outdoors. That's gonna see us do not one, but two locations each week. We're gonna feature a lot of the familiar faces that you've come to really enjoy watching on In-Depth Outdoors. We're gonna do it from a wide variety of summer locations and feature all those species and destinations we've not been able to cover with our TV show. But here's something you need to know. You're not gonna see it on TV. The only place this footage is gonna be available is online, on our YouTube channel. So here's what you need to do right now. You need to go to our YouTube channel at In-Depth Outdoors TV. You need to subscribe and turn on notifications. So every time we release a video this summer, you're gonna get notified so you can stay up to date with the latest action. So we're really excited here at In-Depth Outdoors to be releasing Strike Zone and a huge thanks to Gander Outdoors for helping us to make it happen. So let's get to today's fishing action. It's with PJ, Vic and I on the Madison chain in Wisconsin. Now, of course, this is springtime in the Midwest and that means most everything we do is somehow related to walleye fishing. We're gonna take a break from all the walleye action and bring you a species that we've never talked about here at In-Depth Outdoors, the channel cat. Now, we're not talking about channel cats like this. Uh, the Madison chain is capable of producing some of the biggest channel cats in North America. And at this time of year, they're in really shallow water. So stick around, it's PJ, Vic, and I. We're on the Madison chain in Wisconsin, catching huge channel cats here today on In-Depth Outdoors. Gonna be a beautiful day, buddy. Yes, it is. Sunny. That's what we need, right? Warm yes. the water up. Get everybody, get everybody active and happy. All right. So here's what we're looking for today. Uh, primary goal is to find some warmer water. Right here, right now, it's 47 degrees. We need to find some water. 60 plus. 60 right? plus is what we're looking for. And that's gonna concentrate everything in this lake right now. Yes. Big pike, which are out of season. Mm -hmm. We'll be targeting those. Uh, bass, walleye, catfish. Catfish are open. And the catfish on the Madison chain are some of the biggest in the Midwest. Yeah. 20 pounders, pretty common. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, 20 pound fish, angry as all get out, in two to three foot of water, uh, that's nice and warm. Should be uh, a perfect scenario for a good tussle. Yes, that's our goal today. So what we're doing now is we're uh, searching out warmer water. Uh, at the launch there, it was 47 degrees. Yep. Uh, we're looking for shallower bays, uh, darker water. Yep. Out in the main lake, it's pretty clear, clearer. Uh, back here, it's dirtier, kind of absorbs the sun's energy a little bit more. We're already up to 58 degrees. Yeah. And uh, we're in real shallow water now. Our electronics really aren't gonna help us all that much. So uh, we're gonna just look for the warmest water we can find. And if we get anything over 60 degrees, we'll probably stop, fish there, and see if we can get some baits in the water and catch some fish. We're cruising through these shallows right now. And you know, it's, it's shallow enough that the electronics aren't gonna work. But we're able to see these fish splashing around in the shallows. Um, and you know, we'll, we'll look for a bunch of fish up in there. Uh, you know, surfacing and kind of target that area. All 
All right, so the bait of choice for these catfish is bluegill. Uh, in Wisconsin, it's legal to use bluegill as bait, but you have to catch them from the same body of water that you're gonna fish them in. Uh, you can't freeze them, you can't catch them yesterday. We started our day today, we went and caught some bluegill. Uh, so we're gonna use those as bait. And PJ is gonna show us how to fillet dice and do the thing. And that sounds good. We're gonna be using uh, the same rods that I use pike fishing up in Canada. Uh, Okuma bait casters, 50 pound test braid. And uh, when we get a bite, we're gonna give them the business. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, <it is. laughs> using a six aught circle hook there. All right, so that's the morsel there. And set the clicker, right boys? Set the clicker. Oh no! Did you got it! Got it! Alright! Hey, it. I better Ooh. do something. <laughs> That's a big one. He was all <laughs> nimbly and stuff. I expected something more. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Oh! Get out of there! The anchor. Get out of there! <laughs> Where do you think this is going to happen? Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Maybe over there. <laughs> oh, man. There we go. That is a good that one, is isn't it? That is a big one. Get away from that anchor rope. <laughs> there we go. That fish is like, I got a plan. I got a strategy. Oh, is that heavy? <laughs> Ready? Oh, there you go. Yeah. Holy That's what I'm smokes. talking about. Is that a big bullhead? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you had the fish. When yeah, you, when I reeled down yeah. on it, I wasn't quite sure. What a beast. <laughs> Night. So how, what's, the, what's the top end size on these tail cats here? I mean, you, you hear about mid-20s being caught out oh, here. That's a big um, average seems to be in the teens. I would say that's upper teens on this one, I would guess. Give your hand? Uh, yeah. All right. Oh. Those circles come out so nice. <laughs> He's whooping my butt still. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> All right. That looked like fun, man. That, that was a lot of that was a lot of fun. I can't wait to do some more. Good job keeping it out of the anchor. Yeah, that was close. They, now we know they get really, really wild around the boat. Did, didn't you tell me you were gonna kiss everyone you caught today? No, no I, I didn't no. say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Off you go. Such a cool fish, such a cool bite. Here's a and slimy that, hand shake. And that's why there's four <laughs> towels in this boat right now. <laughs> Every corner of the boat has a towel. That was a good game plan right there. Excellent. Nice. I'll get cool. you I'll get you a bluegill. Great start. Randall GM in Aiken, Minnesota's only haggle-free Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC dealer is a proud sponsor of In-Depth Outdoors TV. Our Brandle value price ensures that you don't have to spend your entire day haggling to get a great deal. And every new vehicle comes with our exclusive gimmick-free lifetime powertrain warranty. Whether you're in need of service, sales, parts, or body shop repair, stop by our state-of-the-art facility in Aiken or visit us 24-7 at BrandleGM.com. In pursuit of what lies beneath, Okuma Fishing Tackle is the point of connection between angler and opportunity, giant pike and muskie, drag screaming salmon, and deep bodied lake trout, hard fighting bass, and the elusive walleye, all pursued by anglers that demand the smoothest, longest casting reels, and perfectly balanced fishing rods. Engineered to perfection, everywhere, every species, Okuma Fishing Tackle is inspired fishing. For the bass that thinks it's a bulldog. For the walleye that thinks it's a freight train. For the tuna that thinks it's a torpedo. For the tarpon that thinks it's a tarpon. You need the mono that thinks it's a braid. Suffix Advance, new advanced mono with HMPE braid molecules for strength, abrasion resistance, and low stretch. Suffix Advance, the mono that thinks it's a braid. Oh! <laughs> oh, fish on! 
<laughs> you see that one rolled just to my left? Yeah. I got half the bottom oh, here, boys. Oh boy. <laughs> There's something kind of nice about just waiting for the rod to go woof. <laughs> Woo awesome. Ooh, it's another good another one. Another dandy. Oh. And I got la you know half of last <laughs> year's reed growth going on here. Oh, boom! Woo! <laughs> You're a good man, PJ Vic. <laughs> they are just a freight train. Yeah, they are. Oh, come here, bite that finger. Yes, you will. Oh. PJ, <laughs> yours was bigger. It was a little bit bigger. I need to work up to something like yeah, that. But that's still a tank. Yes, I mean, it is. What a big channel catfish. <laughs> There's not very many firsts left for us here at In Depth Outdoors as far as, you know, species and different bites. We've never done a channel cat bite before. A lot of fun. Yeah, it is a lot of fun. I think this one's gonna be epic. This one's chewing on my thumb. <laughs> <sighs> what a beauty. So we've got two lines that we're just throwing out, letting them sit on the bottom. We've got two that we've got bobbers on, but it's important to point out that we're not floating those baits. The baits are sitting right on the bottom. We're basically using those bobbers as strike indicators. You got one? Nah, he's not there. And when that fish hit, it just ripped through some old weeds from last year, old reeds, and just gobbed everything up on my line. And one of the things that I did notice was when that fish was fighting, another um, catfish must have got spooked by that fish just ripping through yeah. the water. And my fish was over here to the right, and another one just went whoop out of the water <laughs> to the left. There's plenty around, I believe. Right there, right there, right there. Got him. He's hooked, he's, he's hooked. hooked. There he goes. You see that? That thing like hooked itself and jumped. <laughs> <laughs> or wallowed, or whatever catfish do. <laughs> and that here. Oh. That was awesome. <laughs> well, we had just it, had yeah. that rod went just, I mean, it was just a whack yeah, and then it, nothing. It hit it one time and kind of let it go. Oh, that's that a, a big, big one. Ooh. That's a whale <laughs> of a channel cat. <laughs> well, I love the fact that, you know, there's a lot of times where the fish are finicky and, and all that. These are the, the exact yeah. opposite. Oh, this hey, is huge. Yeah, it's a huge catfish. I mean, that fish set the hook for, on himself. Oh, PJ. Oh. Wow. That that's, is that's a, our 20 plus pounder right there. That's a badonka dog channel cat right there. <laughs> Holy smokes. Oh. So basically it swam up, took a taste. I mean, we've got footage of that first hit. It was just whack, wow. and then nothing. That is a monster. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Oh, that out of there for you. There yep. we go. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Yes, sir. Oh, that catfish is making me <laughs> really happy right now. I love the fact. What did you say? Right meow. Right meow. Right meow. I love right it. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. That's a beautiful that fish. I'll get the net fish. out of the way for you. Okay. We'll get this. Yep. Just get back in the water. Oh, yeah. <sighs> What a tank. Off, off she goes. Man. You got that one on the, the bluegill head. That was on a bluegill head, yeah. Nicely done. Yes. Available in six technique specific models. The new Dead Eye Custom Series Spinning Rods from Akuma offer tournament grade performance at a price all anglers can afford. Built on SCT blank technology featuring a dual helix carbon fiber wrap, Dead Eye Custom Series rods offer an ultra responsive blank that will handle the biggest walleye on your favorite bodies of water. Find the Dead Eye Custom Series at your favorite sporting goods store today and see for yourself why Okuma is inspired fishing.
New for this season, Beef Fish and Tackle adds the rib fin to its Authentex line of soft baits. All Authentex soft baits offer a deadly combination of shape and action and are available in fish catching color patterns not offered anywhere else, including six new fish catching color patterns that make Authentex soft baits the bait of choice for trophy walleye and bass anglers everywhere. Authentex soft baits. Find them online at beefishandtackle.com or at a quality sporting goods retailer near you. Find out, aren't we? Got it. How big is it? It's not that small, whatever it is. And it's in my other line. Oh, we know how to have a good time, don't Ooh, we? Oh yeah. It's actually quite heavy. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's a big one. <laughs> oh. That one was just playing with us. I I would have guessed that fish at two pounds. <laughs> Based on how it was nibble nibble. <laughs> Definitely not two pounds. No, sir. Let's see if I can wow. get this loose. Maybe? No, I don't think so. Oh, no. <laughs> I do not think that's so. That's full blown ugly. Yeah. Oh, well, it's going to be worth it. Yeah, that's a big fish. Do I get half credit because I got a line in there? Or? <laughs> Te that, teamwork, how you how know, makes work? the dream work. That fish was just, I mean, literally nibbling. It, it was. I, I mean, good grief. Oh, boy. What a pig, though. Oh. Oh, <laughs> look at that thing. Oh. The way that- We did not make that look easy. No. But the way that fish hit, I would have never thought it was that big. <laughs> Let just, me just, just toying with it. Wow. Let me pop that bugger yeah. out of there. Circle hooks. They do the job. And that's one thing that's really important. You know, we're using the six hot VMC circle hooks. Uh, you never want to just set the hook with them. You're, you're literally reeling down and letting the hook do the work, and it hooks the fish for you. It does not hurt the fish either. No, no, it doesn't. You know, the whole idea behind a circle hook is you start to pull it out of the mouth, and when it gets to the corner, it just slides to the corner and just locks it right in. Yeah. You're we, not going to hurt a fish bad by getting it in the corner of the mouth. Every single one we've brought in right in the corner of the mouth. So well done. It's doing the job. All right. You are my channel cat fishing <laughs> hero. Oh, I'm proud. I'm proud too. <laughs> well, I hope you're proud of the sweater we've got yeah, knitted back here, the mess in this parade. <laughs> we've got some work ahead of us. <laughs> I think we'll just start cutting. Yeah. I can go, guy. Oh. Off. Full of it. What do you think they're, I mean, what's going on with the way those fish are just yeah, tapping that, on that bait? That was really strange. In Depth Outdoors, Spot on the Spot ID. On today's Spot on the Spot ID, we're gonna talk about a general approach to breaking down bodies of water for all species right after ice out. And as I mentioned, literally as the boat was pulling away from the dock today, that this is the type of pattern where a guy can catch every predator fish in a lake. Uh, and if you're targeting traditional like walleye structure uh, right after ice out, you know, steep breaks, uh, offshore reefs, the water is so cold in those areas, even if there are fish present, they're gonna be incredibly reluctant to bite. So what you're doing in a situation like this, whether you're targeting channel cats, walleyes, or pike, you're looking for the warmest water in the lake. Where are you gonna find that? Well. Right now we're looking at uh, Contour Elite software from one of the lakes on the Madison chain. Uh, anything blue is deeper water, anything light, light blue to gray is shallow water. So immediately your eyes should be drawn 
to this end of the lake. And what we found was when we launched, we were out near the main portion of, of the lake. Water temps were incredibly cold, uh, mid to upper 40 degrees. Once we moved further up into this bay, water temperature started to spike almost immediately. The sun, the light angle was pounding into the soft bottoms of this area and warming things up into the 60 degree uh, temperature range. And that's where all the active predator fish were feeding. Don't be afraid to throw on those polarized glasses and put the eyes to work. So keep this in mind. Everybody's gonna be uh, getting out on the water here in the next couple weeks as seasons start to open across the Midwest. The locations you need to be targeting for active predators very often are incredibly shallow. Keep this real simple approach in mind when you get out on the water here right after your fishing opener and you're gonna be a lot more successful for it. For the bass that thinks it's a bulldog. For the walleye that thinks it's a freight train. For the tuna that thinks it's a torpedo. For the tarpon that thinks it's a tarpon. You need the mono that thinks it's a braid. Suffix Advance, new advanced mono with HMPE braid molecules for strength, abrasion resistance, and low stretch. Suffix Advance, the mono that thinks it's a braid. Available in six technique specific models, the new Deadeye Custom Series Spinning Rods from Akuma offer tournament grade performance at a price all anglers can afford. Built on SCT blank technology featuring a dual helix carbon fiber wrap, Deadeye Custom Series Rods offer an ultra responsive blank that will handle the biggest walleye on your favorite bodies of water. Find the Deadeye Custom Series at your favorite sporting goods store today and see for yourself why Akuma is inspired fishing. At Aluma, we're in it for the long haul. That's why we make the longest lasting, most rugged trailers on the road. Flatbeds, bike haulers, tilt trailers, and enclosed. If you have a lot to move, we've got your way to move it. Our lightweight aluminum trailers will handle even your heaviest loads. At Aluma, we are right behind you with an industry leading five year warranty. Because every trip and every load is valued. We're gonna talk a little bit about the setup we're using today. We got the uh, Akuma SBX swim bait rod, which is a little bit heavier action rod, um, heavier than what your, your wall, typical walleye gear would be. And we've got the Akuma Citrix bait caster reel. Uh, line that up with 50 pound suffix 832. And on the business end, we have a Carolina rig with a half ounce egg sinker, uh, a bigger swivel, and a six odd circle hook. And for your leader line, we're actually just using the same suffix 832, 50 pound braid. And, uh, you know, with these bigger fish, I, we've had some fish, you know, approaching 20 pounds today. Um, you don't want to be out here running mono. You want some nice heavy gear, a nice heavy rod. And uh, that, that'll be best for you to tackle these big fish. Oh yeah. He's going. Get him, sunshine. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I think it's still there. Yep, fish. All right. Got, oh, it's a good one. That is a big fish. <laughs> oh, utter Man. explosion out there. That is so much fun when they hit the bobber <laughs> rod, watching that strike indicator just take off. Well, I got to trust that it is fun. <laughs> <laughs> you can cut me a chunk off a of bluegill, and I, they won't hit mine, but. <laughs> Oh, wow, wild. There we go. Oh, <laughs> it's another one of those <laughs> gigantors. Oh. PJ, you're just going to be my catfish mentor. <laughs> it's just the way it's going to be. Oh. Let me get him behind you. Okay, that sounds good. Because maybe he's not done. I don't think he's done <laughs> yet. He knows there's an anchor rope over here somewhere. <laughs> yep, there we go. Oh, oh, get out of here, they've got there. him! Woo. Oh, Holy cow! Good grief! <laughs> <laughs> that thing is sick, pig! Oh, wow! That is a <laughs> giant catfish! I love it when they get hooked up and they just explode yeah, out there in I that mean, shallow water. It was rolling and going crazy. I mean, really good visual. <laughs> awesome! Oh. I, I would have to guess that that 
mid to upper 30s inch fish there. That's a big one. Yeah. It's not your heaviest, but no. it's, it's long. You know, that is a great fish. Really filling not some fun tickets. Not that it's a tickets. slouch on girth. It's no, just no. not as gigantic as one of the uh, other ones you had earlier. Yeah, awesome fish. I'm gonna get him back in there. There you go. Ooh. Oh yeah. <laughs> How's your hand? I'm all right. You rolled uh, hard. It, it rolled hard with my finger in there. That was close. <laughs> but, They're fighters, man. They're not going to yeah, give up. Definitely. I just about got this put back together for you. Here. It was worth all of it. Oh, right to left. Yep. Another I one. Got him. Oh, Ooh. it's a giant. It is so big. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but a giant head coming out of the water. This oh. is a contender right here, boys. Oh. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> oh, get over here. Oh, got oh you got her. Three, two, one. Oh, nope. yeah. It, this is not your biggest fish. It's right there with that, uh, yeah, that, that long, leaner one, but I still think that one earlier in the day was the yeah, biggest that, one. Yeah, that one earlier in the day had a, a, a much bigger belly. But it had an eating disorder. Oh, it's an absolute beast of a catfish. <laughs> I just love the way they explode the water as soon as you hook them up. It, it is so exciting. I mean, got it. All right. Buddy, you are the cat daddy today. <laughs> I'm just having a blast with this. This it's is a such a hard special fishery. Fish. It really is. I mean, to catch this many large catfish in a Huge day. Huge catfish. I mean, it doesn't happen everywhere. There we go. Oh. She's ready for round two. She definitely is. And I actually think your bluegills, the head here, survived good yeah. enough to reuse it. it. It looks good to me. It looks I'll, juicy to me. I'll give it another run. So that brings us to the end of today's show. And let me tell you, I am forced to accept the fact that PJ Vic is a much better channel cat fisherman than I. Uh, I knew my day went sideways when I caught the only bullhead in the Madison chain. But hey, it was a phenomenal experience. These fish pull like nothing else. And if variety is the spice of life, today's uh, time on the water with PJ uh, definitely put a smile on this guy's face. So uh, that brings us to the second announcement in today's show. Uh, we drew the winner of the In-Depth Outdoors Dream Trip giveaway. That's gonna be taking place on uh, Lake Nipigon Fishing Trophy Pike. And the winner is Luke Hentges from Jordan, Minnesota. Luke, I really look forward to getting you out in the boat. We are gonna catch so many giant pike, I'm gonna wear you out. So look forward to fishing with you and making some great video. So from all of us here at In-Depth Outdoors, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week. For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations, and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at In-Depth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.